Sorry. I'm an idiot. Oh, damn it. Okay, I've already been to floor one. I've already been to floor two. Oh, wait, let's go to the roof. I want to go to the roof. I want to go to the roof. There's... Okay. Oh, my God. No. No. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. I don't like this guy. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. I wanted to see if that noise was there, but it's not, so I'm not going to fucking worry about it. I'm getting out of here. No thanks. I'm good. Shit. I'm trying to, like, turn my, uh... I don't know. I think there might be something a little wrong with my, uh, my PlayStation 4 controller. Oh, save. Okay. Yeet. I got so much. Are they cleaning supplies? Um, it's not old, but it's not new as well. I think I want to, like, pick up a PlayStation 5 controller. I heard those are, like, so much better. But I also don't think this this controller sucks enough to need to re be replaced. I mean, it works for me, but sometimes it just it doesn't want to respond. And I think that also just might be because I'm using... Um, oh, it's locked. Oh, you know, I think that might be the next, the other code. Um, memos. Memi, me, memi, ah, mem, memitos. Jesus Christ, that was hard to come out. Eight, three, two, five. I'm just using my mouse. Three, two, five. Awesome. There's no feedback. I feel like there should be some sort of feedback. Oh. Uh, tissues and alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise, no big deal. It's a magazine, some kind of gossip magazine. Teach and Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind the false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called Flores. It's true that Forest is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with, a, with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be a part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has to do anything with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison, or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is well known uh, by the locals as the Order. It's a religion that's deeply interwoven within Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervently believe that they are among the elite chosen people as a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that the telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schringerberg the Shiver Shringer Burr? Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. I get it. I understand it. But I also think that he's kind of wrong, too. Like, 
just because you don't agree with their their you know religious take doesn't mean that your religious take is any better. Oh? The doll is all torn apart. It it's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. Who do you think? Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I, would have, I have been waiting for this day. For today, the day I would see you. The day you would save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Okay. Oh! Oh, there's nothing interesting in or around the bed. What? Wait, gross. The whole bed stinks like a year old sweat. Ew. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Is your daughter? Claudia is your daughter? You Heather, oh, stop it, so okay? You know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I, I'm I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. I'm sorry, but she, she killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Sure, help yeah. Me? Locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. Okay. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. Oh, the seal. Oh, the seal. Okay. 
So he has it. Okay. And hall on the second floor. Yes, that is that is what he said. Okay, let's go. This is the third floor. Let us go. We're gonna go downstairs. I don't know if I trust Leonard. He kind of seems kind of not put together. If you know what I mean. Back door? Hey, wait a second. That door doesn't exist. Where'd you bring this door from, Leonard? Okay. Hey. Okay. running into things a lot more than I did like a few hours ago and I ran into a lot of walls is that normal I feel like something's wrong like everything So it is this way. Oh my god. Okay. This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. Why? What's different about it? Yeah, that's not the picture. What is it? There are no circles in this picture. But I know this one. It must be... What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly towards me in the hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Oh, okay. Up and up and up we go. Why are you turning that? I better not do anything negative to me. I swear to God, I'll come back down here. I'll beat your ass. I'll stomp your foot. Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, is it burning her? Oh. 
Where am I? Shower room. What about six? Broken. Okay, four. Broken. Oh. Lovely, save room. Oh. Then hand outside the window. Oh, yeah, there's a hand. Do you need any assistance? I can pull you inside. Or what's left of you, at least. Examination room four. Oh, oh. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket and set below. Who would do this and for what? Looks like a full out bloodletting. Yeah, it does. But for why? Not openable. Is this something I can grab? This is a pole. It probably doesn't mean anything. Well, how do you know? Everything means something. Oh my, we got B1, 2, and 3. Can't go to B1. I I need to search out what floor am I on right now. I'm on the third floor. Okay, I need to figure out what's on this what's on the rest on this floor before I decide to go somewhere else. So let's get the hell out of this elevator. Oh? Don't worry, door won't open, can't even make it budge? Oh? Oh no! Do I have to fight this? Oh my god, my character model is also becoming kind of grody. I think I just gotta wait this out. Oh no! Yeah, no, I don't think this is good. Look at her. She's frozen, girl. Girl, you're frozen. What I gotta do? Am I losing health? I put that indicator on to see if I'm losing health. Actually, I want to take it off. because That's stupid. That looks dumb. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. What do I gotta do? Break the mirror. Oh. God damn it. I went right back into this. I told myself I wasn't gonna go in this room again. Well, how do I get out? Door won't open. I can't even make it budge. What the hell? Yeah. Break the mirror. Okay. Maybe it's like Resident Evil. I just gotta like keep trying. And no, no. Okay. That's all I have to do. Great. That door is locked? Why is that door locked? Okay, that's locked too. Okay. Now I'm comfortable enough to go to other floors. I got rid of the day room on this floor. How about this room? No. How about where's the door? It's over here. 
Nope. Okay. This lock is not the one that's ringing. Tis, Happy what's his 31st name? Thirty-first birthday. Stanley. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. Who the fuck are you then? He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. Can I have cake? You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The but fuck? you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Maybe you're wrong. He was very adamant about this. There's nothing coming from the receiver. Well, duh. This phone's not connected. But what about that phone call? Got a bag and I got a... It's nothing important in the trash can. Wait, what's going on? What the hell is this? Oh my god, are you okay? Something strange is cooped up in that locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Uh, actually, wait, what? Actually, the more I look at it, the more pitiful it seems. Like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Ah, that's kind of rude. There's a paper bag with nothing but garbage inside. I mean, nothing but junk. The one time you could have used junk and you decide not to. Uh, whoever was here before is gone, so that's so is that smoky stuff. Uh, what? What was that anyway? Oh, is that the okay? Okay, okay. I understand. I've already tried that door. Okay. This is going to be the one. Oh, yes, I got it before it closed. Got to get the buttons before the door closes and you win. He's number seven now? I don't understand what the hell that's supposed to mean. Oh, I understand what it means now. I understand what it means. Oh God, are you okay? I wanna make sure you're dead. Seven, one, two, six. 
seven one two six. Wait. What was the okay? Nothing in here apart from a few stray ashes. Okay. Well, I guess there was a puzzle here. I guess there was. It just doesn't exist anymore. All right. You don't have a map of this area? Okay, well, I, I need to, I don't know, go to the first floor and then check my map. Any locked doors? This one's locked over here, but I actually unlocked it. Okay, let's check this. Let's check this Worthless. Oh, safe room. I feel like I got the safe room. Ooh, what's this? There's a memo on a chart. Dr. Midcliff. Please use extra caution with patient in room 312. He shouldn't be he should still have his he should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he's got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumors is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Uh, there's a handful of dirty syringes on a bed. I'm not sure how uh, about... I'm not, a, I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. So you're about to use his ampule. Broken lock. Okay. Shit. I feel like I got the safe room. Ooh, what's this? There's a memo on a chart. Dr. Midcliff. Please use extra caution with patient in room 312. He shouldn't be he should still have his he should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he's got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumors is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Uh, there's a handful of dirty syringes on a bed. I'm not sure how uh, about... I'm not, a, I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. So you're about to use his ampule. Broken lock. Okay. Shit. I feel like I got the safe room. Ooh, what's this? There's a memo on a chart. Dr. Midcliff. Please use extra caution with patient in room 312. He shouldn't be he should still have his he should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he's got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumors is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Uh, there's a handful of dirty syringes on a bed. I'm not sure how uh, about... I'm not, a, I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. So you're about to use his ampule. Broken lock. Okay. <laughs> Examination room one. Broken. Wait. Oh shit, okay. I don't know if I can use that. Okay. 